Hello YouTube, what's happening guys and uh, this is Shiv and I welcome you to this part of tutorial uh, in which I'll show you file permissions, alright? So, uh, as usual you run genome terminal and if you are watching uh, uh, my videos then you know this is my test directory, okay? So, as I said I'll explain you type of files and uh, uh, permissions okay let's get started so first we deal with types of files okay now if you see in this particular directory there are only two types of files the first character in the long listing of ls determines the kind of file so minus means it's a regular file okay and D means it's a directory but there are a lot more kinds of files to know about those we go into we do ls-l on dev directory now you will see that there are actually well a lot more different kind of uh, files so C means it is a character oriented uh, file what that means is uh, on Unix or Linux everything is a file, even a directory is also a file, although it contains other files, okay? So C means it's a character device, that is input and output uh, happens on byte by byte basis. So the, that's the special thing about character based device, for example your sound card is a character by character device. Then you have got L which is a symbolic link, okay? And there would be more interesting ones in this, I believe. Yep, B. B is a block-based device. Block-based device is like your hard drive. On a hard drive, uh, it will be uh, the input-output is uh, input-output happens on the basis of blocks, not in terms of bytes. And uh, more can be found in run, and then I don't know, maybe in PHP if it is running. No, it is not running. So to just show you this type of file, I'll just start that service. Okay, so I believe uh, that should have it. Yep. So another type of file is a socket file, which is a network socket. So this is for network I/O. This is this is signified by the character S. So these are uh, the most common uh, files. Most of the time, you would encounter with a directory or uh, 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 an ordinary file. There are other types of files also. There are two more types, uh, I believe, uh, if I remember it right. One is a pipe, another is a FIFO. But uh, I don't see, I can create those, but I don't want to go into creating those. Okay. So I'll leave the pipes and FIFOs for now. We will come to uh, those types later. So first I'll uh, go into ordinary files and directories because those are going to be the most important ones for our purposes. For beginners, ordinary files and directories are most important. So for example, uh, if I do ls-l, so these are my files and directories. For example, this is a file while uh, this is a directory. Now I was telling you about umask, uh, sorry, uh, permissions, okay? So you see this third column is your owner of the file or directory. So usually inside your home directory you would be owning all the files. You are the owner. Uh, the person who's or the user whose home directory is there inside that home directory usually that uh, user will own all the files and directories. Not always, huh? all the root can change that. And the group will, there'll be a default group to which you will belong. Uh, my group is Fat Sun. Uh, so uh, now, what about permissions? Okay. So there are three different kind of permissions on Linux. Read, write, and execute. So you can see there are three uh, characters here. RWX and then three here RWX and then you don't see that W but R minus X is there. So 
R means read, W means write, and X means execute. So the first set of RWX is uh, for the owner. Then the second set is for the group one. And the third set is for others. Now root is an exception. Huh? Root will not uh, fall in others. All right. Root can, uh, always has RWX or whatever. Not X really. RW permissions are always there. X for that phase. So let's uh, first deal with the file one. Okay. If you see the file, you have got RW and you have R and you have R. So you have read write permission. That is, I have read write permission. Shiv has read write permission. And uh, then Fatson group has read permission and others also have read permission now what does this mean as uh, if you have a read permission you can see the contents if you have write permission then you can uh, change the file and if you have execute permission then you can execute the file Ex uh, sorry execute permission is important for the scripts uh, or the binary files which you want to execute okay um, for example, I'll show you quickly ls bin. Okay, you see all these are green. Why? Because uh, they have execute permission. Okay, so all the file, uh, sorry, uh, I didn't intend to show this one. Uh, if you see here, these have x permission because most of these are binaries. Okay, so they have executable permission, otherwise, they will not execute. All right, so that's that. Now, uh, more into permissions uh, so that trees have x permission because unless you have x permission you can't really enter into a directory x permission is important for entering the directory now how uh, uh, these permissions uh, come into picture okay uh, i don't remember uh, where is my u mask uh, i don't remember where is my u mask okay anyway so there is something called u mask okay so u mask is the mask which is applied to a file or directory uh, for example if you see here i created x and y so in this case the default u mask is 22 uh, or rather you uh, okay i'll explain that also i didn't want to explain it anyway so i'll try to explain so this rwx uh, and this rwx and this rwx there are three sets these are represented by three octal numbers. So X is one bit and W is one bit and R is one bit. So if RWX flag is all set, that is R there, then it is one, one, one. So in octal that becomes seven or in decimal also that becomes seven. Now, if it is R minus X, then it is one, zero, one. If uh, W is not there, then it would be R minus X. That is 101. One. W is not set. You are not allowed to write. That means it is 5. And then again, you have R minus X. That is 101. One, that is 5. So you have got 755. Five. Why? Because the U mask is 22. Okay. The default U mask is 22. Now, if you see Y also same. So that's for directories. But what about files? Uh, so we go in X. The default, uh, if I touch a file one, and I do for a file, the default U mask is 666, unless it is an executable binary being produced by a compiler. Okay. So from 666, if you subtract the U mask, this is uh, 644. So if you subtract 22 from 666, you got you get uh, 644. Now this is RW minus first set. So 110 in octal that would be 6. Then you have got 100 that is 4. And then you have got 100 in octal that is also 4. So that's how it works. But you can change the permission and all other things. So this is file uh, permission. That is for permission part. The ownership I already explained it is uh, this is the owner and this is the group to which this file belongs. So group has read permission and uh, user has uh, also a uh, user has read that permission so usually uh, the the uh, owner has uh, relevant permissions on the file group may or may not have it depends on you mask and the group permissions and other settings 
So the file system permissions are very simple unless you are using extended attributes uh, which are not usually used. So that's it. Uh, I will show you how to change ownership and all. But I believe in the next part, I don't know what should I show you. I think um, uh, I'll show you simple uh, gedit editor, okay? Because creating a file is very important. Plain text files are needed. So, um, okay, I'll show you gedit editor and um, um, yeah. So file permissions is are there. There is a lot more to file permissions, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, I did not find you mask. So and I have not yet described the second column of Alice. I'll show you these two things in the next video. Please uh, like my video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll wait for you in the next part. Uh, I'll see you there. Till then, goodbye.